Yeah, 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 I know what you're thinking. Look at their big, cute eyes. Look how fluffy and adorable they are. Oh, well, snap out of it, you, because these bundles of cuteness are actually controlling your mind. We first welcomed cats into our homes 12,000 years ago, and there are now around 600 million cats in homes around the world. That works out as one cat for every 12 people. But surely, if we'd been hanging out with our feline friends for that long, we would know if they were controlling us, right? I'm here at Battersea Dogs and Cats Home to show you guys three ways that cats control your mind. Number one, sadly, your moggy is just not that into you. Research at the University of Tokyo suggests that your cat does recognise your voice. In their tests, about half of their cat subjects turned their head towards their owner when they were called, and about a third of them moved their ears, two signals that the scientists count as acknowledgement. But only 10% actually moved their tail or meowed. The two signs that the scientists count as responding, as replying. So the thing is, they may hear us, but they just don't respond. And as we know, if someone decides to ignore us, we crave their attention more. Ollie! Ollie! Two, it has created the perfect purr to get you off the sofa and feed it. So what about that perfect purr? Well, <laughs> cats have different purrs for different situations. But the one that makes you get up off the sofa and reach for the cat food is that I'm hungry, feed me slave kind of purr or a solicitation purr as scientists call it. Karen McComb, a scientist at the University of Sussex was sick of being woken up every morning by her cat Peepo with a irritating purr. She wanted to know why has Peepo got such power over me. So she started having a look at that specific purr. She found that it's made of two ingredients. It's principally a low frequency purr, but it's also got this high frequency, this high note there as well, at about 380 hertz or a middle G. McComb recorded a whole bunch of different purrs and played them to volunteers. But on some of them, she stripped out that top note, that high note. And the volunteers didn't get that sense of urgency anymore. They just couldn't tell the difference between those purrs and others. So it's clearly all down to that high pitched frequency. And she reckons, there it is, she reckons that that's because that's the same note as a crying baby. And three, your tabby may have infected you with a parasite that's rewired your brain and made you behave differently. It's called Toxoplasma gondii, and it reproduces inside the digestive tract of a cat. But the thing is, is that humans can be infected by it too. Research into T. gondii has shown that humans infected by it have slower reaction times. And one particular study by a Czech parasitologist called Dr. Yaroslav Flager has shown that infected drivers are 2.6 times more likely to be involved in a car crash. Flager believes that the parasite changes the connections between the neurons in your brain and that it has a different effect on men and women. Men become more risky, they disregard rules more, and women become more open, more warm. So much so that when Flager actually published his research, Apparently he got emails from guys asking if he could infect their girlfriends. Nice. So how do we get infected by the parasite? The normal life cycle for the parasite is to be pooped out by the cat when it's then picked up by rats. Now the parasite needs to complete its cycle and get back into the cat's digestive tract where it can sexually reproduce. The T. gondi makes rats change from fearing cat urine to being attracted to it, literally sexually attracted to it according to some research. It's been called fatal feline attraction and it drives rats to want to hang out where cats are, whereas normally they'd fear them. And that increases the chance of getting that parasite back from inside the rat into your digestive tract. Now, we don't go around 
picking up the Toxo from cat poop directly? Well, I don't, obviously can't speak for you guys. It's more likely that we get it from cross-contaminated water or from litter trays or from unwashed veg or raw or uncooked meat because the cattle may have picked up the parasite. Us humans are considered accidental hosts, a dead end for the parasite. So how many of us are infected? Well, studies suggest that around 10% of Americans and around 30 to 50% of people around the world are infected. And just like with the rats, a double blind study has shown that infected men are more attracted to the smell of cat urine. So there you have it. Your cat just isn't that into you. It's perfected a purr to make you run for food when it's hungry. And it may have infected you with a parasite that's modifying your behavior. Still, kind of cute though, aren't they?